everyone. Welcome to Crafting with Carmel. It's February. Time for a new Wreck to Go packet. This month, we are doing a Valentine Dream Catcher. This is what the finished product's going to look like. We get to make it. Lots of fun. Love for you guys to call me. And let's get you registered to get your own packet. So, to get started, let me tilt this down a little bit and I'm going to show you what we have. This is what your packet will look like when you pick it up. You take out the instructions and it has your heart hoop. It's got string, feathers. The string is right here in these instructions. All you gotta do is open them up. This is what we're gonna use to put the feathers on, put the beads on, and tie it up. And just lay everything out and get started. One thing I did add was glue because it's kind of easy when uh, you're making the knots. I don't want the knot to, to undo. So I'm using a little bit of glue. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hoop and we are gonna tie the string, just a basic knot. Tie it on here, I've already done that. And then I clipped it just so I wouldn't have any hanging down and put a little drop of glue so that it wouldn't fray. Once you do that, all you do is you just start wrapping your string any way you want it to make your dream catcher. You're just gonna go back and forth, across. There is no right or wrong way. We are just going to keep wrapping it. This is what mine looks like so far. And you wanna make sure you save some string to tie it off in the end. So as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna come and I'm going to make a knot. All I did was kind of just looped it around. And I'll tie that little string. And I think I'm gonna do one more. Hopefully it will stay secure for me. And I'm going to cut it with my scissors. Make sure you have a little pair of scissors. And then like I said, I'm gonna use the glue. And we're gonna put just a little drop there. All right, I'm kinda just gonna dot it and let it go. So, next up, we can do the strings that come down here, which is gonna be these guys right here. One, two, three. This is what they look like. And all I did to put these on was you just hold this up and I made a loop like this. And I put it around the top part and I threaded the two strings right through it. And then you just pull and it holds. So I'm gonna go on and put the other ones on here as well so that once we start with the beads, we're good to go getting the beads and the feathers on because that's a lot of fun. We have purple, light pink, middle pink, red beads that get to go on here, which definitely add a little bit of flair with these feathers too. This would really be a fun craft to do with a grandchild or a neighbor or, I mean, by yourself is fun. So this is what mine looks like now that I have the strings on. And then what you do, so now we have six strings. We are going to start threading some of these beads through. So basically, just decide which colors you want where. I'm gonna go purple, light pink, and probably red on this one. After you get the beads on, as such, we are going to take a feather, and we are gonna tie this string onto the feather. Now this is a little bit tricky. It doesn't matter how long the string is or is not. It's, it's really personal preference or it's how little of string can you work with with your fingers to get it tied on there. So I, all I did was just make a, a basic knot and I'm gonna do it one more time. For all of you women that sew, this would be kind of easy. And again, after I do that, I'm going to use the glue to make my little dot. And I'm going to go on and clip it. All right. So this is what it looks like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the beads and we are going to slide them down over the tip of the feather. Like such. And there's the first one. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to repeat what we have just done until we get all six strings on here. And let's pick us another color. Let's use a darker pink this time. We'll go with a purple feather. Remember, there's no right or wrong way. It's just having fun and what colors you like. And I think this would be a fun little project and you can hang it by your bed as a dream catcher or hang it for decoration anywhere else you like. Um, you can call me at 208-6264 and I can make arrangements to meet you at the Connie Hudson Center, at Trixie Senior Center, at Dauphin Island Parkway, or the Adult Center on Azalea Road. And all you gotta do is let me know you want one. There's no car no charge, no cost. We just meet and pick it up and I'm happy to bring art into your world. Because I bet everybody's kind of getting tired of crossword puzzles and the rest of it. So this is just a little fun alternative. Alright. And there's the second one. So this is again, this is what you'll repeat till you get done. And there's going to be another piece of string. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie this up top. This is our hanger. And just like I told you, it's just a basic, basic knot is what I'm doing. And I'm tying it two times to hopefully get it to stay. Use our glue. And we got to tie the other side. guys are staying safe and enjoying this colder weather we've been getting. Makes it feel a little more like winter, doesn't it? So I'm more of a summer girl. I'll still take it. Alright, so I got to put my glue on this one. Did it on that side. Alright. If you don't have glue, it's okay. I think it will still hold. I was just doing it as an extra precaution. So, this is what mine looks like. This is what yours should look like right now. And then you'll just finish putting the beads and the feathers here. And this is the finished product. So, I thank you guys for joining me. I have had fun and I look forward to seeing you next month. Thanks.